Welcome back guys to Andrew Pittman YouTube. We're here on location out in the field. I've got a bit of an audience here, so I'm gonna be hopefully not panicking <laughs> under pressure. Look what we got today. We've got the Ick Wheel, and I can even hold it. Check that out. <laughs> so, uh, 23 kilograms, it's a beast. Now this has um, come to me from uh, a guy in Sydney who's uh, looking at bringing these boards in to sell. He asked if I could actually review it and have a look at it. Uh, it's going to be a Baja killer. It's a lot cheaper than a Baja. There's a better range. It has a four-wheel drive set up without any belts. So they're not going to get caught in the sand or the grass. It's a whole uh, planetary gearing on this particular board, which is the new future, what boards will be in, we're doing at the moment. So this is a complete new look. I love the deck. I love the finish on it. This is a premium product. This is really nice. Have a look at this. Just have a look under here. Uh -uh. You can see under there. You can see that there. So you can manage this four-wheel drive. You can see I'm holding it with two hands like that. So it's not like it doesn't weigh like a motorbike. Okay, let's look at the weight. 23 kilograms. Um, these four motors provide uh, 3,000 watts per motor, like 3,000. So this is a this is a, this is a 12,000 watt beast, which is like about 11 horsepower. I think 11.5. It could be a little bit out on that. Like 11 cowboys riding past on horses. <laughs> So this is a beast. Uh, the, this is not your normal uh, creature coming out of, of China at the moment. So what you see in China, if you've seen this on Amazon, it's not the same board because this has got different gearing, CNC milling on all the machining. It's up close, it's a completely different kind of build than what you're seeing that's out there. I must stress that to you. So if you're looking at price comparisons to this, this is a very, very different creature. This is the best. That you can, the best you can get in this kind of, oh, someone's writing one here now. Um, unbelievable, so this is a not the, your normal run of the mill stuff that's coming out. This company, Equil, were the first company to design this board and make this deck and make this whole thing. The rest copied it, the rest were just bought it and copied it with pressed parts. They're not, you know, the machine CNC milling, having got the same struts, having got the same. So we could talk for hours about the difference, but let's just leave on that. Stats, okay, 42 inches, 11 inches wide across here, 10 and a half. We'll do a 35 kilometer range. This has got a Samsung, uh, I'm looking here, double check this and just make sure I got it right. 900 watt hour battery, 900 watt hour battery, Samsung 30EQ. Now with the, the 18650, so what happens, this is gonna give you full punch, full power right to the end of 35 kilometers. So it's not gonna be anything like uh, other boards that have a, a voltage sag. Uh, so you 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 don't wanna carry this thing, so that's imperative the battery system. So, so the. The, the, the company who is importing this uh, have gone to a great degree to put the best battery system in here, Samsung. It's not the same as what's currently out there on Amazon. So you've got to understand that's very, very important. Right, so let's talk a bit about the performance of it. What speed does it do? It does 50 kilometers per hour. But on this thing, you'd be riding like a motorbike. You're not going to have any problem with uh, insecurity or that speed. Uh, range will be 35 kilometer range with no voltage sag and the torque on this has four speeds. So first speed is actually quite smooth and it's like naught to 15 kilometers an hour, quite easy to ride. Then two, three and four speed really amp up. They really do get there very quickly. I think um, we may not talk too more much about the specs of this. Uh, the, the, the pneumatic tires, beautiful rims, um, the normal regenerative braking, all the normal you know, box and ice that come in. I'm looking here now. The planetary gearing on this is very different. It's a complete new planetary gearing. There's less friction, less noise. It is a beautiful thing. Let's get out and ride it, have a look at it, and uh, I'll give you my opinion. I'll put some pads and helmet on. We'll do a 50 kilometer run, and uh, that's gonna be probably the thumbnail. <laughs> wow. So, okay, so you can lift this thing, and uh, yeah, it's actually, 
not too bad at all. That's the four wheel drive version. So uh, there you go. Uh, Ick wheel by uh, Australian distributor. I recommend looking at this if you're having off-road, if you're in a place where you want more uh, diversity to your ride, this is gonna provide that. Look at the detail with the charging port on the side with the stainless steel. It's pretty impressive, so uh, yeah, it's a nice, yeah, so it's a nice board. Gorgeous deck, really beautifully finished. So let's get out on the Equil four-wheel drive from an uh, Australian distributor here in Sydney, and uh, yeah, it'll be something worth looking at. I'll give my feedback after the ride and see how I think it performs and how it actually goes compared to, say, Baja, which I've ridden. Let's get out and have a ride and check it out. Here we are, this is the barbecue launch for Equil, as you can see. There's the team here and uh, the boards. Uh, there's the there's, there's scope. Yeah, just get to, just loosen it up for So here we are at the Sydney launch of the Equil. And uh, this is extraordinary uh, how this performs. Um, we're gonna go for a ride now, big group ride, so I'll actually sign off soon and I'll talk to you about uh, the board and, and how it performs uh, at the end when I'm riding around here later. Okay, guys. Okay, dudes, we're here now for the first ride on the Ick Wheel. I've got the four wheel drive variety you can see here. Check it out. Um, oh, there's a leaf on there. That's the beauty, I haven't got any belts. There's no belts on this thing, so you can't get stuff caught into it. Um, let me just show you the remote. So you can see the remote, there it is there. Look at that, it's beautifully finished, high quality. So let's go for a ride, my first experience. I've got it in second gear only. It goes to four, I haven't got my full, this is my padded Kevlar helmet, but I'll be just riding around 20 Ks, getting the feel of this thing, and then we'll take it for a test spin ride and a bit of speed. Let's go, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. That's got nice torque. Nice talk, yeah, got really nice talk on this. Wow. Yeah, those those suspension trucks really do feel as you can see. 
as you get speed up you get a lot better turning on it as you can see yeah there's no there's no vibrations or problems on that uh geez it's a smooth ride this suspension is just insane we'll check we'll test this hill now let's see what the torque on these four wheel drive motors do ready one two three it just keeps going okay it's ridiculous uh, I haven't even got the throttle pulled back even a quarter and it just keeps going as you can see that hill there Killed it absolutely killed it Okay, let's just pull up here and have a chat for a sec. Oh the braking. Okay. That is nice and firm Okay um, I'm gonna use that braking, but it's perfectly linear just got to get used to that uh, There we go. Look at that. I mean that is just amazing ride so Wow, okay, just hopped off it now. Uh, there it is. Let me say straight away, it's got, on second speed of four, it's got so much power, uh, more than enough power. Up that hill then, which is about 18%, it just kept accelerating. I was only a quarter of the way down, so I didn't even fully accelerate. It's crazy fast, crazy powerful. Uh, steering's not overly tight or great for CBD tight streets, but this is not what this thing's for. This thing is gonna be for the urban uh, assault uh, on the outside of the uh, the CBD cities. So it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's so far really impressive. I'll put a proper helmet on, pad up and do a speed test on it, but this is really impressive. So let's get some footage of it now while I'm riding. amazing it's just got so much power crazy so here we are riding uh, around a little bit we're gonna come back and have a quick little ride and talk about it and uh, I'll see you what I think of it <laughs> Tobias go yeah, look, look at this thing whoa that thing is flying absolutely flying Look at that, flying, absolutely flying. Whoa, twice, what do you think? Unbelievable. <laughs> there she goes. Look at that, anyone can ride this. She's been riding not very long at all, only a couple of years. 
Oh my god, that's amazing. So much power. There's like 10 horsepower here. Probably 11. Uh, 12,000 watts. Just insane. So this is, by the way, there's a slight issue on the unboxing with the 900 watt hour. It's actually, that's this particular model, 900 watt hour. It'll be 1100 um, watt hours uh, on the uh, production boards that come out, which is another probably 10 kilometer range to 45 kilometer range or so. So uh, there you go. Look, you can even pick it up. There you go, look at that. Ah. Yeah.